Tony Brady. I manage uh, our global product management team within Treasury Services, which is part of the investment services part of BNY Mellon. I've been anxiously awaiting the CYBOS because as we talked about quite a bit in the white paper that we released on Monday, the CYBOS theme for us is really all about payment transformation. Uh, it's a transformation that in some ways is long overdue, but I think we as global transaction banks are showing a level of collaboration now uh, greater than ever before, really to address the fundamental issues uh, that our clients, have, our clients have been experiencing for decades related to cross-border payments. So for us, this is a great opportunity to collaborate further, make sure that we're all aligned in terms of addressing these issues, and uh, you know, just to solidify our plans for 2017. There's, there's certainly plenty of things going on and plenty of things changing. I, I would say that in general, uh, all financial institutions, including BNY Mellon, of course uh, are challenged by staying on top of all the regulatory changes and making sure that we're in lockstep with our regulators and our internal risk and compliance partners. But, but I would say um, the, the bigger challenge is really wrestling with uh, what I talked about before, which is we really want to change the focus from uh, inside out uh, to outside in. We want to do a much better job of providing a a global real-time payment experience for our clients, addressing the issues that I mentioned earlier. You know, cross-border payments today, they're too slow, they're too expensive, and they lack transparency. And so BNY Mellon Treasury Services is very focused on providing a far better experience for our clients in cross-border payments. We can't do that alone. So we are very active in driving the product roadmap for the SWIFT GPI initiative, and that takes um, the network effect. It requires all of us, all the global transaction banks, to move together. And the good news is we're on the, uh, the vision group for the SWIFT GPI initiative, and we had a series of meetings while we were here, and we're very much aligned. Uh, we all share a sense of urgency to address these issues. And so, you know, although it's a challenge, it's one that I think we as a global transaction banking community were up to the challenge and we, re we recommitted ourselves at this year's CYBOS to continue to develop the products that our clients need. So we need now at BNY Mellon to do our part internally with our systems and our technology to implement the, uh, the products that SWIFT GPI is coming up with, but we're absolutely committed to doing so. Technology uh, really is our business, right? So, uh, you know, we have uh, technology partners here at Cybos to experience firsthand all the change uh, that is happening. And so, you know, there are partners inside the organization. They're helping us transform our own payment technology. We're in the process of rolling out a an enterprise-wide payments hub so that every branch that we operate in, uh, operate in provides exactly the same service. Um, we're also redefining our payments architecture so that it's far more flexible to adapt and change as we add new channels. So for example, a new channel that we're very actively adding at the moment is real-time payments in the U.S. So we don't want to reinvent another payment application to deal with real-time payments. We want to integrate it into the payment application we already have. So our technology partners are key in, in helping us uh, make that happen. We also uh, have a great partnership with our technology folks to evaluate emerging technologies, whether that's blockchain, distributed ledger, whatever tomorrow's uh, you know, new technology uh, may be. They're in lockstep with us to evaluate these things and to figure out what are the right use, use cases where we can practically apply them. I think to some degree regulation, cybersecurity, resiliency, um, you know, distributed ledger and blockchain, I'm sure they will be there as well. But I think the conversation is going to continue to evolve and transform. 
My prediction is by next year, we're not just going to be talking about how to uh, you know, better enable uh, cross-border payments, how, you know, not only how to do a better job for our clients in that respect, I think we're going to start talking about a new objective, and that objective is um, a single real-time cross-border payment experience for our clients. And again, that's the theme that we begin to draw out in our white paper. You know, if you think about the telecommunications industry, and when you land at an airport in a foreign country, you know, if you've signed up with your local telecommunications provider in your home country for, you know, travel pass or whatever they call it, you know, before you ever leave the runway, you're reconnected to uh, just about anyone in the world uh, in terms of video, instant messaging, phone call, whatever it might be. That's the kind of experience we need to deliver for our clients in the cross-border payment space. Our clients shouldn't have to care what's behind the curtain to make that happen. To some degree, I think, in our industry, we've exposed the complexity of cross-border payments to our clients. We've made them have to care about how to execute cross-border payments. The conversation, I think, is going to start to change where we pull that complexity behind the curtain. We do what we need to do to provide our clients with a seamless experience. So I already hear us starting to transform that conversation. That's one I think is going to be much more prevalent next year, and it's certainly one that BNY Mellon hopes to drive.